Stormborn build revolves around this talent, which makes our elemental mastery and shamanic rage make Stormstrike deal additional nature damage to all enemies in front of us. And we utilize this thanks to Lightning Blade, which has three charges and is an improved version of Stormstrike. It deals massive single target damage with a two handed weapon. On top of that, we take Thunder Slam, which is very nice AoE and it kind of supplements our even our single target rotation which we'll get into a little bit later and we take two mandatory pieces which is of course shamanistic rage and elemental master what is built mandatory stuff also is assault and battery which basically make our lightning bolt or chain lightning instant when we deal damage with thunderclap overloaded blade uh, which basically restores charges for our lightning blade and thunder slam and then we take those two talents that basically reduce the cooldown of our shamanic rage and elemental mastery so mastery of lightning dealing damage with lightning shield reduces the cooldown of elemental mastery by 10 seconds this is great and we utilize this even more thanks to the static shock which makes our lightning shield proc not only while we take damage but also when we deal damage so it's not it's not only extra damage on top of everything but also helps us reduce our so needed cooldowns and on top of that uh makes our lightning shield permanent because our lightning our lightning blade will basically restore the charges of lightning shield because it uses storm strike modifiers and the last one is shamanic rage harvest which basically makes our critical hits reduce the cooldown of shamanic rage by five seconds and we're going to be creating quite a lot especially when we get some gear so shamanistic rage has only one minute cooldown so as you can see those crits will reset pretty fast Elemental Mastery has 2 minute cooldown, but our Lightning Shield shortens by 10 seconds, so it's pretty nice. So the goal for this video is actually to get as many reels as possible to start this build rolling. As you can see, I already have 80,000 Marks of Ascension ready after the Prestige. And straight up after hitting level 60 and getting to item level 53, is we are actually able to do like 3k DPS, which I think is pretty nice for starters especially that we have so many ways of improving this build so we start off by doing the daily quest let's finish our prestige open world it's 10,000 marks of ascension which is great let's take it and of course we have to start with the pve quests i've got plenty to do actually so marks of As ascension are going to rain from heavens I actually got myself molten boots uh, from the caches, so uh, currently I'm collecting light forge stuff, mainly for the four set, which basically adds some extra damage on top of everything. Uh, but yeah, the Lawbringer set is probably better because we're using strength. We're going for strength uh, with mental quickness, of course. I've I have fortunately rolled four out of five, which is basically mandatory for like most of the builds anyway. So yeah, let's grab some Lawbringer boots for the future. I've got two pieces actually. If I get a three piece, then it's going to be great. Yeah, damage wise, stat wise, everything is just simply better. Oh my god, the daily quests are in Ashara. I really freaking hate this place, to be honest. Especially killing the giants, it's freaking AIDS. So in the meantime, we're just going to queue for some heroics for the moment because i don't have the required gear <laughs> to queue higher just to get even more marks of ascension while doing some quests this is gonna take a while so in the meantime i'm just gonna quickly talk about the build a little bit here we go dungeon let's jump in okay it will probably take a little bit too long unfortunately Somebody with one of the light is already pumping. So let's go and check out our deeps. Okay, 3k on the boss, not so bad. And now we can get an upgrade. And we have it. So the base principle of this build is very simple. We cast Lightning Blade to apply improved damage from Thunderclap on the target. Then we cast Thunderclap to the uh, the cast time from reduction from the for the lightning bolt or chain lightning and then we basically use our lightning bolt or chain lightning to get back one of the procs for aoe situations we can just spam thunder slam 
it hits everybody and when you ran out of stacks you just want to hit thunderclap and cast some chain lightning to restore the actual stacks as usual with such builds that is relying on some cooldowns or buffs it's pretty shitty when it comes down to quick kills like in this one we're just destroying them so fast that you cannot even get your DPS ramped up. Holy crap, it seems we missed one of the portals. <laughs> and now we're gonna pay for it. I've got Divine Shield. I'm gonna use it. In case somebody noticed it and destroyed it. <laughs> okay, let's destroy this portal now first. And then carry on with the rest. <laughs> And nice, it's finished. Uh, did we drop something nice? No strength, so we don't need that. Everything basically is for agility users. Okay, we turn in some of the quests. Let's accept them back again. Uh, there we have the boss, so let's start pumping. Oh no, I was doing the um, call board dual quests, and I have my PvP on. Of course, it's not high risk, but... Anyway, <laughs> it can still be annoying, especially that I have plenty of AoE while uh, attacking, so I will tag like everybody. Oh, he's dying. Oh, I did get credit. Not sure how, but I did. I didn't even touch him. <laughs> That's kind of strange, but... Right, the boss quests are done. Now we just need to finish off the Nagas. Hey, okay, we're done with the Nagas. Unfortunately, my portable... Full board is on cooldown still, six minutes, so I'm gonna go back and carry on with the other. Oh, oh my god, somebody just summoned in, so I go back. We queued up for another heroic dungeon. When it comes down to skills to actually update this, upgrade this build, uh, we're looking for Wind Fury specifically to add some passive damage, but also I rolled this talent Wind Slam that basically. Increases the chance to proc Wind Fury, and also after actually hitting with Wind Fury, our slam also deals more AoE damage. Those are like small additions, but eventually they will add up. And there are plenty of things that we can do to actually improve our Wind Fury overall. We're using single two-handed weapon, so we're not fully like utilize fell infused weapon and also we use quite a lot of spells so i personally think that wind fury would benefit us a lot more because they can also proc from auto attacks as well but it's yet to be tested we're gonna see uh what we can get other than that execute is actually a big thing uh because the buff we get that shortens the cast time of lightning bolt or chain lightning also is procced by execute so if we are above 20 percent health on the boss we want to use thunderclap for this and below 20 percent we basically just want to spam execute and energy bolt because those are like two most damaging abilities with storm bolt it kind of changes because lightning bolt gives us one charge back so i would use execute then Lightning Bolt, we get a charge back thanks to this. And then uh, use one Storm Strike with Stormborn. And execute Lightning Bolt, rinse and repeat. Oh, we get a dungeon up, so let's go in. Oh, nice, it's Color Man, so it's gonna be fast. Let's pop our Stormborn, and then one Storm Strike, one Slam. One Storm Strike, one Slam. One Storm Strike, one Slam. One storm strike, one slam chain lightning to recover the stacks yeah went pretty nicely okay it seems that nobody has lock picking so we have to do it the long way okay it seems that i have worn the key to the room i just wonder if it stays forever or is it usable and then it disappears okay let's go into the final boss Start pumping those Stormborn procs. You just want to use Lightning Blade and then some other ability to proc it once again. Because there is an internal cooldown of 3 seconds, so... 
you want to use lightning blade then use some other ability like thunderclap then lightning blade again then lightning bolt then lightning blade then thunderclap once again so you know should be lightning blade in the rotation oh we have actually stacked quite a lot of cardboard caches so far i'm probably gonna ignore giants because it will just take too long then the other quests will show up next day and maybe they will be easier and we'll still get marks of ascension we'll lose nothing uh, thanks to that catch-up system so nice to have while fighting in the open world with normal mobs that just basically no point using the stormborn of course you would be one-shotting everything with it on but it's just an unnecessary overkill as for the talents, uh, what we have rolled is actually, of course, Elemental Fury. And I've got Clear Casting, so uh, I got Nature Damage Bonus. Effect, I've got Concussion, which increases damage of Lightning Bolt. Things like standard, like Glory or additional, you know, proc stuff always will increase your DPS. I got Crackling Thunder for my Thunderclap, which is also nice. It doesn't add that much damage, but it's nice to have anyway. Yeah, Mental Quickness, of course, mandatory stuff. Improved Storm Strike, nice because it gives back mana and increases nature damage your target takes. So it increases for both Stormborn and uh, Energy or Lightning Bolt. Does matter. I also have the Energy Bolt. I like chose Lightning Bolt for my starter ability. And then on like level 12, I rolled Energy Bolt, which was pretty nice. Lightning Overload is great actually for this build because if you shoot like two lightning bolts it's gonna give you back two charges of lightning blades so it's smooth and out it smooth and outs your rotation so much of course everything that would buff up our wind fury as well and all the standard talents that increase damage of your slam or your uh storm strike thunderclap actually thunderclap hits like a freaking truck although i do miss one of the talent basic one uh this one improve thunderclap because it increases its damage by 30 percent it's quite a lot honestly especially with the spell power uh coefficient that lightning blade adds to it also in the meantime we want to buff up our elemental mastery with mastery of haste which will also increase our melee haste instead of spell haste uh, and encro encroaching storm this is great but more mandatory it further reduces the cooldown of elemental mastery and shamanistic rage if you cast lightning bolt or chain lightning with three or more maelstrom weapon stacks uh it's kind of counter effective having maelstrom weapon uh because you proc your instant lightning bolts from your storm strike although and it's uh, better because it adds 100% more damage with a fire on Lightning Bolt. That's why it hits so hard. The thing is that one doesn't exclude the other. And if you get those stacks naturally over time, it will just further reduce the cooldown of those two. So it works pretty nice, especially that I have actually rolled both talents uh, just by accident. As you can see, an Roaching Storm. And I got one out of three Maelstrom weapons, so... Also in AoE situations, you then don't have to use your Thunderclap. You can just straight up use your Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning without actually using Thunderclap, so... This also smooth announced the rotation very nicely. Also, there's a talent uh, for Shamanic Rage named Primordial Fury. While Shamanic Rage is active, your critical strike with direct damage abilities and spells now use 50% of your max rage... To deal 90% weapon damage plus 111 elemental damage. So, very nice addition to buff up our on-demand cooldowns. One gives you haste and one gives you more damage. And actually, Shamanic Rage is very short cooldown. One minute with additional reductions is actually pretty short. I actually decided to go for this build because I haven't seen many people actually try it out. And I've seen that there are... Some bad luck protection in place. So I thought to myself, why not try it again? But there's another talent like Shamanism that also reduces the cooldown of Elemental Mastery. It's only one second, but, you know, eventually it adds up very nicely. Oh man, Archidas, it's gonna be pretty long. I also got a Bladestorm. 
And I keep it just for the lows because, you know, it's not dealing crazy damage. I don't have any whirlwind modifiers and stuff like that for it to do so, but yeah, just for fun. You know what, guys? It's actually nice to, doing, to do some of the heroic stuff. Because you don't see those crazy builds in here. I mean, crazy numbers. We're just chilling, doing some 4k, 3k DPS. It's very, very nice. Those constant stuns are so irritating. Oh my god, I charged him and I got knocked down once again. <laughs> I just lost all my shamanic rage because of it. Yeah, that's actually a big drawback of playing builds like this, where you have to rely on buffs like that. If you do get some downtime, like for example, you have to avoid some boss mechanic or something, or you get CC'd, it actually hurts you very much because, yeah, you, you are reducing your cooldowns by fighting. So it's quite important to have big uptime. Okay, it did took a while. But yeah, execute phase is pretty nice. Just spam execute and then lightning bolt, execute, lightning bolt, execute, lightning bolt. We didn't get anything out of the dungeon, but yeah, let's get back to the questing. Those guys are actually elite, so it's more sufficient to actually use the Stormborn talent. Right, four quests to turn in. Now we're gonna call the call board, turn in everything, and then start pumping once more. Right, boys, let's have our gear sorted out from all the cool board caches. Let's see if we can get something useful. Oh, yes, we've got Lawbringer Breastplate. This is so good. It actually is the tanking version. Oh, no. It is a tanking version, so it's not going to work, probably. Damn it. Oh, yes, boys, we have found, finally, Lightfoot Gauntlets. So now we have a four set. Damaging melee abilities and attacks have a chance to unleash mythical outbursts, doing house gouge to all enemies around you. Great for both. Single target and AoE. Oh, we've got another dungeon pop-up. Let's go. And it's Colomans, which is nice. Should be pretty fast. So in a rotation, we pop our buff. And Lightning Blade and Thunder Slam. Lightning Blade, Thunder Slam. Lightning Blade, Thunder Slam. Chain Lightning, Lightning Blade. They died pretty fast. Oh, nice. We dealt like 10k DPS almost. I'm not quite sure how much of it is the already gear upgrade difference, but that was pretty cool. And the Rawkin is one with the light, so. Oh, somebody actually asked me for this build. <laughs> oh, crap, guys. <laughs> got myself locked out. <laughs> okay, we've got this sorted. That was pretty fast. Shout out to Vasily for actually noticing something different. This is also why I tried. I wanted to try the Storm one because, you know, everybody is just playing around. All same builds. Oh, we got the trinket upgrades. That's very, very good. Trying something different is always nice to have. Especially if it turns out great. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Or oh, Rammstein Lightning Bolts. This trinket is so good. Gives you spell power, both spell power and attack power. Oh, Lowbringer Helmet. But unfortunately, it's again defensive. Peace. Oh my god. I would have a four piece already. Deadborn Pauldrons. This is actually defensive, but with spell power and strength, it's definitely much better than my skeletal shoulders. So I take that. Look at this Lawbringer once again, but with defensive stats. Oh my god. I would have a tanking 3 set already. Now, we have earned 400 gold from the sold equipment. So now, uh, let's go and take a look at the profession quests. Some of those can definitely be turned in. Okay, we've got uh, one quarter million marks of ascension. So this should probably give us quite a lot of rerolls. And then we probably spend like an hour to actually re-roll everything. Okay, so we ended up with 92 skill re-rolls and 185 talents. We still got plenty of stuff actually to get from the coal board, but I guess for today that should be enough. Let's see how much we can actually improve with the build. I'm gonna go do a quick test first. 
All right, let's go. Okay, we went up actually some gear and upgrades actually increased our DPS to three and a half K. All right, let's start doing some rerolls, boys. When I'm opening so many scrolls actually and the card packs, I just do it simultaneously. Sometimes I fear that's when something good comes up. I'm just gonna miss it. Blessing of Kings, oh my god. A lot of buff, I've got plenty of those now. <laughs> Let me know guys, do you always reroll skills first or the talents? I usually go for skills because then, you know, if something comes up, then I can adjust my talents uh, accordingly. If something good shows up, then I can leave the talents. Oh, Divine Infusion, a very nice defensive cooldown. Gonna keep it for now. Oh my god, I thought it's Wind Fury, but it's Hurricane. Crap. <laughs> oh, Seal of Command, that's actually very nice, because I was using Righteousness so far, but Command is leave damage, so it's better. Dragon Charge. Uh, this can be useful, because I only have the standard one. Oh, we've got normal Storm Strike. I'm actually wondering, would it be beneficial for us to actually keep it? Because we can proc more Stormborn thanks to this when our stacks run out. So this can potentially be pretty useful. Create Firestone. Uh, yeah, it increases the damage of spells by 1%. Not that much, but yeah, it's always above, I guess. Ooh, Unchained Blink. This is nice. Okay, we rolled all the abilities and the only upgrades we get is the Seal of Command and a couple of buffs. So nothing really that fancy. Now all, all the hope is in the talents. Okay, armor to teeth, very nice passive. It's only one out of three, but eventually, yeah, we'll get there. Oh, finally, we get some good two-handed talent. Six percent more physical damage. Very nice passive. I'll take that. Oh, nice. We've got legacy of the Arcanist. It's not gonna be that big, but yeah, we're going. We're dealing mostly nature damage, but it's always nice to have. All right, boys, that will be it. We didn't really get anything of that significant. A couple of lesser improvements, I would say. So, let's go and see if this actually makes any difference DPS-wise. So, let's go. Okay, so it seems that at peak moments, we can actually reach almost 4k. So, nothing really that fancy, but not so bad, I would say. The additional Storm Strike seems to work very, very nicely. Yeah, steady 3.5k with some ups and downs to 4k if lucky well not so bad considering that we didn't actually get any significant improvements lightning blade hits for almost 6k energy bolt over 7 stormborn over 5k lightning shield 2.6 see the command actually gave me like five percent additional damage the meteor also so those two things alone gave me like seven percent seven and a half percent dps increase so not so bad it seems that over 250 rerolls is not enough to actually get something of significance <laughs> so we will definitely try it out further let me know guys what off meta builds you are actually trying out and i'll see you in the next one bye bye